What do I know about him? He was my junior for a time. Just another ordinary young hackbutt trying to make his way to a um, odd guinea. Never had a great deal to do with him. Little in common. Not even the law. His heart wasn't in it, and that's death in any profession. He married. Not wisely, but too well connected. That probably didn't help. Um, what kind of person was he? Very withdrawn sort of fellow. Had the most disconcerting eyes. One could never return his gaze in conversation. Somehow made one feel guilty. Do you know why he left the law? Thought that you knew. Thought that's why you come. No, I didn't know. Well. Yes, Mr. Morland. And may I suggest you be brief? Barrister's first windings up tend to be rather more generous with the court's time than is strictly necessary. <laughs> <coughs> My lord, the chief villainy of Mr. Lovelace's pamphlet lies in his open admission that he would do what he could to make a world saner and more humane than the world we live in. His phrase, not mine. He made curbside speeches. He even wrote to certain politicians and so-called princes of the church. Could you bring us to the charges? My lord, the prosecution makes much of the defendants professed wish to see the Imperial War Museum destroyed. Why, the defendant asks, do we send busloads of children to gawp at that collection of tributes to authorized murder? A crime? Well, look at this venerable courtroom. We're supposed to be civilized, aren't we? Yet we do shove innocence into that chamber of horrors stuffed with pain and mutilation and death and say, look, children, this is what put the great in Britain. But where in that asylum of grotesques do we find framed the armament manufacturer's checkbook together with Grandpa's piss-pathetic medal and his artificial leg? I, for one, am with the defendant. If I knew how, I would blow the bloody place sky high. For which thought, if memory serves, the prosecution argues, if a man can be so scathing about our bloodied, militaristic past, what is he not capable of? I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, he is not capable of a non-event. There was no bomb, no threats, no conspiracy. You know it, the prosecution knows it, I know it, the judge knows it. It is not the defendant who should be on trial here, but a besotted establishment who can cheerfully send a generation to slaughter in the name of war, and yet has the audacity to bring a hapless fool like Lovelace to trial for uttering words. There was no crime. Therefore, there can be no sentence. My lord. 